Sending a post request. In this lesson, you will learn how you can use Postman to send a post request to the API server. In the previous lesson, you learned a couple of ways to create a new request. One is to use the plus symbol, the second is to use the new button. There is a third option wherein you can right click any of the existing course and then you can duplicate. For example, currently I have the get courses method. I'm going to right click and do duplicate. This is going to duplicate the same request that contains exactly the same details. It is the exact replica of the same request. Once it is done, then you can just amend the details as per your specifications or the requirements. So in my case, it's going to be add a new course. This way you can save some of the time and increase the productivity. Once you have done it, then you can start changing the parameters that corresponds to the post request. The first step is to change the verb from get to post. Since I have duplicated the request, I no need to change the URL as I need to hit the same URL for the post request as well. Since the current request is a post request, the main part among the request is the body section. This is going to include the details that you need to send to the server for to process a new course request. Notice that the body part contains multiple options, namely form data, URL encoded, raw binary and so on. We'll cover this in more detail in the next section. For now, I'm going to send the data as raw and the format or the content type as JSON. To send the detail to the server, I'm going to grab some of the code snippet or the value that I have got from the get courses so that you can know the format that needs to be sent. There is an option called beautify that you can click so that it formats the data as per the type you had chosen. It's a great handy tool so that you no need to spend time tweaking the indentation of the values. Since it is a post request, I'm going to remove the primary key, namely the course ID. Next, I'm going to tweak all these values so that it's going to create a new entry. I'll change the course name as MBBS with the duration as five years followed by changing the course type as medical. Once it is done, then you hit the send button to trigger the post request to the server. Here we have the response from the server that successfully has executed with the course ID as 10. Notice that the server has returned the same set of values along with updating the required properties. The return type again has been in the same content type as application JSON type. Notice the two important parts, namely the status that is shown as 201 created. Also, it contains some of the header values that includes some of the custom types that is included by the Postman mock server. This shows how to use the post request with respect to the Postman API usage.